It was a march to declare their independence. Hundreds of Texans with disabilities showed up at the Capitol Tuesday, hoping their voices might make enough noise to keep critical care programs needed to live in their own homes and communities. YNN's political reporter Karina Kling joins us now from the Capitol. So Karina, I understand there were rallies on both sides of the dome today? Yeah, Christina, from the north side to the south side, the Capitol steps were full of people with wheelchair bound citizens, the blind, those with developmental disabilities, shouting no to cuts to home based and community based services. Those we spoke with say cuts will further cripple them, but they're hoping that by being here today and having their faces seen, it might be enough to change legislators minds. It's a rally these disabled Texans hold every legislative session. But this time, there were far more faces in the crowd. Jenny Dendy came from the Fort Worth area to speak out for her daughter Grace, who can't walk, talk, and suffers from seizures, but is currently undiagnosed. The Medicaid that we get through the, the medically dependent children's program helps us to pay for the testing. We need to try and find out what it is that she has. So That would take a huge hit if proposed cuts are passed, and her nurse Jenny Graybert, who makes it possible for Grace to live at home, would also be cut. I would lose my job. I wouldn't have a job anymore. I wouldn't be able to come and hang out with Grace. Democrat Representative Elliot Neistat was on hand at the rally to say there are ways to help. Well, the solution is certainly tapping into the rainy day fund. I think we should use all of it. This is an emergency. It's a message that might be catching on with more lawmakers. Republican Senator Robert Duell, who's on the subcommittee dealing specifically with Medicaid, says let's use the rainy day fund, increase the gas tax 10 cents, and look at registration fee hikes. But if you combine all of that together, then I think we can do minimal cuts. We have fought for the past 30 years. We are not hiding behind walls anymore. We don't put people with special needs in institutions. The faces, even famous ones, kept coming Tuesday as more people join the fight against cuts to home and community-based programs. Programs that keep faces like Grace at home and once her family will continue to fight for. They're thinking about it as a whole, but I mean, they need to look at these faces and, and hear these names and know that these people are special and that we're, you know, we're all God's children and we're all special in our own way and we all need to be taken care of. And these people just need it a little more than the rest of us. Those rallying also took their concerns straight to their legislators today. They also, a group of them also went straight to the governor's office hoping to make a difference there. Reporting from the state capitol, Karina Kling, YNN.